G'day Wallaby Dick, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to keep it really, really quick. I'm going to teach you how I rig up my skirts for tuna down here in Tasmania. This will also work for your other pelagic species when you are trolling around the world. Uh, it is a stiff rig. I think this one in particular has a 9-0 hook, but I'm going to show you exactly how I rig these up with 200 pound mono, uh, some 350 pound crimps, and some armor sleeves as well. So you can see the tools here on the bench. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is grab your mono, about one and a half arm's lengths of this stuff. I find 200 pound is the perfect amount just because if you have anything heavier, it's just not going to sit right or swim right. So 200 pounds is enough. Also, when you're cutting, I like to use some nice sharp pliers so you can cut on a bit of an angle so it just goes straight onto your crimps. The first thing you wanna do is grab your crimps, load up two crimps on your mono, up the very top, one, two, and then we can start our stiff rig with our hook. Now, what I like to do is <clears throat> I do two wraps onto the hook, go down on the way in and then back out the opposite way. That way you've got a piece of line on the top of the hook and the bottom so you can crimp nice and flush against the eyelet. So we're gonna go down. We're gonna do two wraps, but we also need to ensure that we leave plenty of tag for lining up exactly where it's going to sit on the, uh, the skirt. So that's one wrap, two wraps. Then we're going to come straight back through like that. Whoop. Straight back up. And that's how it should look and be sitting. So the reason why I come back up through is so then you can crimp nice and flush and you've got a straight looking hook rather than if you're on the same side, it'll look a little bit like that. And it'll sit very strangely. So what we wanna do now is pull that extremely tight. My crimps have fallen off. Pull that tight and then we wanna grab our two crimps and then we're going to crimp that into place the way it sits. Pull that tight, and then we're going to crimp. Just want to ensure here on the bench that we've got more than enough leader because we are doing a few wraps. So that looks like it'll be fine. We want to flare both ends of this, so I'm just going to use the first noggin on my crimps. And about a millimeter, two millimeters back, I'm going to try and flare those ends. That's one. You can see that notch coming up, just there. And let's go for number two. Nice and firm. And then just as a safety precaution, I go onto the second crimp. And that's crimped nice and strongly there on the rounded edge. Kind of lining up on our beautiful meridian skirt where we want this to sit. I know for a fact that it sort of comes out about here. You can see at the bottom of the skirt, a hole just in here. So we want to line that up or measure from pretty much the start of this skirt head. So if I lay that flat, I can see that I need about that much line if I want it to hang out the tail. What I'm going to do first to reinforce is just a few wraps just on this. So this is my mark where I want it to crimp to. So I want to wrap until I get to that spot. Just so when the hook is in the mouth, we have some additional reinforcement on the mono from the teeth grinding while the fight is on. So I'm gonna get my other crimp ready. One, two, 
three, four. We'll try and hold that nice and tight. Put the hook in my mouth and try not to hook myself in the process. And I'll grab my crimp. Just gonna double check that measurement one more time. Way too long. Gonna slide it up a little bit further. I always like to triple check all of this along the way because once you've gone this far, you can't really go back. All right, there's the first one. Here comes the second. And then the second noggin, straight in the middle. Awesome. So I've measured that out to come out of the skirt just a little bit. Then what we can do Chuck our skirt on. Hopefully, she's gonna be sitting where we want it. And what we can do here as well is just trim this end. A bit of an angle like that. Leave a tiny bit of tag. And that is sitting very nice at the end of our tail. Normally I would go up a little bit more, but for the purpose of the demonstration, I think that placement is rather good. Pretty simple, all I'm going to do is grab my armored sleeve, another crimp, chuck that straight onto the 200 pound mono, just like this. Pop the sleeve on. You can do, and a lot of people do, do just a couple of loops, um, just to reinforce it like what we've done on the end of this stiff rig or in the middle of the stiff rig. I'm just going to thread it straight on like that. Nice and tight. Crimp the top end and flare it. Other side. And then in the middle as a safety. Trim that tag end. And there you have it. A very beautifully rigged Meridian skirt. Ready for trolling some of the beautiful waters of Australia. Before I go, we are drawing the Tazcast giveaway on the 28th of this month. So not long left for you to purchase a Tazcast shirt. We've got the G'day Wallaby Dick one on behind me. We've got our beautiful Get Jiggy With It. And we have our Pay Your Taxes. Seems to happen a lot down here in Tassie when you're tuna fishing. Uh, all of the hoodies, we are getting some more in stock. You guys have absolutely cleared me out, which is fantastic. Um, however, there are some more coming towards the end of this month, but pretty much the shirts is all we've got left. So don't forget to go and buy your shirt off the website. Every shirt that you purchase or every piece of clothing that you purchase is one entry into the Tazcast giveaway drawn on the 28th of this month on my Instagram live stream. So make sure that you tune in before seven o'clock and uh, yeah, we'll be giving some stuff away. Thanks very much for watching this video. Like it if you learned something and also contribute your two cents of to what you think I can improve with that rig down below. It would be greatly appreciated. As we all know, this is all a learning curve and it's nice to share your ideas and concepts with everybody else so we can get out there and win on the water together. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you later. To say thank you for supporting Tazcast on YouTube, we're giving away over $3,000 worth of fishing equipment and experience. We have an epic Tiagra fishing combo for tackling tuna, a jigging combination so you can get jiggy with it, a day's fishing for you and a mate with beers and food included, and a Tasmanian Devil advent calendar. To jump into the draw, purchase any of our print designs from tazcast.com.au, all thanks to Tamer Marine, Launceston's favourite boating, fishing and marine store.